Welcome everyone to Spoiler Warning. We have plenty of headlines to run down and plenty of wrestling news to cover tonight. It's going to be a busy one, so jump on in, hit that like button, and I will run through everything that we are going to discuss today because there is a lot of it. We're going to talk Ronda Rousey, what's going to come out of our fight, the book that she is releasing shortly, how it relates to Vince McMahon, but also how it relates to Stephanie, Triple H, Bruce Pritchard, and John Laurinaitis as well. John Laurinaitis will be a discussion point. We are now starting to see what his legal defense is going to be and how it's going to relate directly to Vince McMahon. We're going to talk a little bit about Goldberg, what's caused this burning of the bridge that we're seeing at the moment and who he's going after. We're going to talk a little bit about Becky Lynch and Beth Phoenix, something that's been planned many times and has failed each time. I'm going to tell you when it's been planned, why it's failed and why it's now coming back around. In addition to this, we will be reporting on recent reports that John Cena has been invited to WrestleMania, first reported here, as well as The Undertaker and Stone Cold Steve Austin, which we'll be getting into more detail about. Michael, thank you very kindly. A 37th month. You are literally a yardstick telling me how long I've been doing this. Thank you, as always, for your continued generosity. We're going to talk about Dave Meltzer. He's reporting on Jack Perry and Tony Khan. We're going to clarify that whole situation as well and discuss how well received Mercedes Money, Will Ospreay and Kazuchika Okada are being in AEW. We're going to talk a creative plan involving CM Punk at the Slammies. And finally, we're going to touch on Rey Mysterio's return to WWE SmackDown and why it's not happening, the match between Rey and Santos, on the WrestleMania card. As I said, there is a lot there and a lot to cover. So it's going to take us some time. Thank you, D Freeman. Thank you very kindly. A 29th month. Again, a very generous donation. I appreciate you very much for being so generous with me. I will be trying to keep up the chat in between, but we do have our first piece of news and I'm going to dive straight into it. So be sure to hit like. And if you haven't done so yet, in the pinned comment at the top on YouTube, there is a link to the tweet announcing the show on Twitter. Please do jump over there, hit like, hit retweet. If you quote tweet, I will um, retweet that quote tweet to try and, you know, give a bit back as I do it. That's one of the ways that we've been advertising recently and filling the shows up. I'd be very grateful of that continued support. Ronda Rousey has taken aim at Vince McMahon in the book that she's releasing called Our Fight, but this is far from the only person that she's aiming at. In fact, the PR team that she's using has sent out excerpts to multiple different outlets to run and get the word out, and almost all of them relate directly to Vince McMahon. The idea is that if you go after Vince McMahon in the excerpts, everyone's going to be talking about it, and here we are talking about it, so the PR team are doing great work. While Ronda Rousey does go on the attack against Vince McMahon, and it is true that she outright despised him by the end, the book itself will not shed any new light on the accusations that have been made against him. That's what that's wading into a legal territory that Ronda Rousey is not prepared for at this point in time. Instead, it is other people who will be the focus in the days afterwards when the book is released. Rousey was generally positive about Triple H in her interactions. The same can be said about Nick Khan, though interactions were limited. By and large, she was happy to work under Triple H, though frustrated by the continued insistence of pushing her at the top when she wanted to work as a tag team with Baszler lower down the card. When Vince McMahon wasn't involved, that's what happened. Stephanie McMahon, however, will earn the ire of Rousey and her name will come up a lot in the book. There is a feeling of disappointment, particularly as regards Stephanie McMahon. Bruce Pritchard is in trouble. With WWE being actively investigated as part of the ongoing Vince McMahon investigation, a lot of his hires and favourites are also likely to be investigated. There are those of the opinion that Kevin Dunn jumped before he was pushed. Pritchard hasn't jumped just yet, but his time might be running short. The return of Vince McMahon before WrestleMania was the beginning of the end as far as Ronda Rousey was concerned, and she did not believe anyone when they told her that McMahon wouldn't be involved in creative after the Raw after WrestleMania, which, if you remember, was a massive dumpster fire. Plans to push Shayna Baszler were abandoned when Vince McMahon returned, and Rousey could see the way that the tide was turning. She left as soon as she could, and she has never looked back. 
At this point, she's not going to set fire to a bridge. She's going to set fire to the whole damn place. While this book will be enlightening, it will not be as explosive as those first few excerpts suggest. So if you're going into this expecting it to be something that absolutely destroys Vince McMahon, you will not get your wish. This is my first opportunity to say hi to everyone in the chat and I absolutely want to take it. There's plenty of people who've already been chatting away on the YouTube and the Twitch and I just want to say welcome to everyone. Uh, Alad says hello everyone. Razar says hello Tom. Uh, seated for spoiler warning. Spider Boss says hello Tom. Interesting words from Ronda Rousey about Vince. Uh, Bailey says it's a Hall of Fame class for this year. Now complete or a late edition? I'm expecting at least one late edition, potentially two. Michael says hi Tom. Hello Michael. Steve says, is Rhonda just a bit of Betty or is she justified? In my opinion, she was worse than Sasha Banks. Steve, why can't she be both? You can be bitter about how things went and also justified in being it. Spider-Boss says, Goldberg is just ungrateful after WWE gave him two universal title reigns and matches with top talent as Roman and Bobby Lashley. As Zane says, MJF merchandise no longer available, mostly on shop AEW Source Wrestling Inc. What do you mean mostly? Either the merch is there or it isn't. Michael says Hype Train, which is true on Twitch. However, I do believe we've just missed the mark on that one. A Hype Train on Twitch is when three different people either give a sub, a gift sub, or a hundred bits within a short period of time. I think it's about five minutes. I do believe we've now missed that because I didn't immediately spot it. If anyone would like to donate, there are options on both Twitch and on YouTube for how you can support the channel further. Bob says hello, Tom and everyone. Hello, Bob. King Other says, hey Tom, a WWE booking Cody like Rocky. A lot of people are saying they are, and yet it's the evidence of it. Joey says, Ron, why did Ronda go back to the WWE in the first place if she hated the company so much? Feels like she's desperate for attention. She went back to the company because at that point, she didn't hate the company so much. Wiggly says, hello. Hello, Wiggly. Gomar says, yo, how's it going? Going well, Gomar. Welcome to the show. Spider-Boss says, interesting that Ronda praises Triple H even after she complained about how WWE booked her rivalry with Liv Morgan in 2022. As I reported at the time, the rivalry with Liv Morgan was written by Vince McMahon. Razar says, at the end of the day's wrestling, I wouldn't be surprised if Ronda comes back after all this trash talking of WWE. I wouldn't be too surprised because by and large, she's not trash talking WWE. She's trash talking individuals who have had power in WWE, such as Vince McMahon, who's gone. <coughs> DM says for this Wrestlemania build for the tag match to be set up to the not sure what he's saying there DM I think something's missing Sai says evening all hope you're great I'm doing very well thank you Sai hopefully everyone else is too Wiggly says just want to say Tom as you know I'm a huge fan of both Goldberg and Asuka really disappointed by what Goldberg said Lisa says Ronda Rousey's only doing this to sell her book yes that's accurate that's why people uh, send excerpts around to be shared Selvig says, hello, Tom. Hope you're doing well. Melser is still saying Bray won't be in Hall of Fame this year. I want to know, is he right this time? So do I. So do I. Juan says, damn, the way Rousey is talking in her book, it looks like TK dodged a bullet. Rousey does sound like a flight risk. She is, as I previously mentioned as well. Wiggly says, I do hope in the coming days he'll clarify his words and maybe apologise to Asuka. He won't. Alan says, MGF's merch has been removed from AW Shop and people are going crazy over it. I have no idea why. Because his contract originally was set to be ending around this time. Personally, I don't think it will be. Robin Dave says, how do you feel Cody's been booked for WrestleMania? I think what they've been doing is putting him in promo segments. Joey says, was Matt Hardy just visiting Raw or is there interest in bringing him back? All I can say is that he was just visiting Raw. If it would be the case that he was going there to negotiate a return, that would be a massive breach of contract and liable for a lawsuit. And I certainly am not going to be the reason that a massive lawsuit happens. DM says Goldberg just wants Triple H to bring him back. That is absolutely not true. Andrew Quinn says, hey Tom, hope you're well. WrestleMania 40 is going to be absolutely wild. If Cena, Taker and Stone Cold appear, I'm very intrigued what they do with Taker especially. Joey says, which matches do you expect to be added on the Mania card? There's only a few that I would expect at this point in time, including a women's tag team match, for example. 
about of us as people on social media say, and I stopped reading because you know that's going to be garbage. Roger says Roman Reigns says a bunch of bitches ruined plans for his match with The Rock and says Cody Rhodes is a politician. Source, Wrestling News. Yes. The source is the Pat McAfee podcast, by the way. The M says MJF could be coming to WWE very soon this year. MJF could be doing this. He could be doing that. He could be doing anything. Spiderboss says interesting that Becky gave her version of the SummerSlam 2021 squash. Now surprise me. She didn't say now to... I don't know what you're saying there, mate. Eric says, do you think the Hardys eventually going to the Hall of Fame? Yes, they've been trying that for years. Noob says, hello, Tom. How are you doing? Doing well, thank you, Noob. And Rob and Dave says, some people are scared that Roman will retain at Mania. People shouldn't be scared. Wrestling happens. By the way, we currently have 63 people watching and only the 26 likes. Four more will get us to 30. And if we get to 30, that number of people watching starts to increase as well. Also, now seems a great time to double check and see where we are when it comes to, as I mentioned at the beginning, at the top of the YouTube chat, there is a pinned comment which directs you to the Twitter, uh, sorry, the tweet which I put out advertising this show. Now, what I'd love you to do, if you can, is help the growth of this channel by helping the growth of that particular tweet. If you quote tweet it, I will retweet you. And if you do help that growth, I would be forever in your debt. Where were we? Once I say, Tom, Dave Meltzer is still trying to convince the world he's reporting his Mercedes money has alienated higher ups with her comment and that some women are jealous of her salary. He will continue to report that, much like he did with CM Punk. Uh, Joey, I do not have that information at this point in time. Steve says, what WrestleMania matches do you think are waiting to be added? I've answered that question already. I can tell you what I think is likely. That includes the, the Women's Tag Team Championships. King Az says, hey Tom, I think Roman should get angry tonight and say The Rock takes orders from me. I don't take orders from him. That would be great. That could be pretty cool. Lisa says, so far for two weeks, AW Dynamite feels fresh. We will be discussing that and a new generation very shortly. Joey, maybe. Alice says, MGF was removed from the roster after World's End and people still think he's coming to WWE. I think he signed a new deal. And that is an opinion worth sharing. The M says, how do you feel about the build for Seth versus Drew at WrestleMania is going? Going great because people are not talking about Damian Priest. Noob says, will we see John Cena, Undertaker and Steve Austin might show up at the main event match of night two? More on that shortly. Gomar says, do you see Ray having a match at Mania? More on that shortly. Michael says, I've had to mute the words Meltzer and Dave Meltzer because he's so clueless. DM says, Roman will show up on the Raw before WrestleMania. He's on the poster. Doesn't guarantee that. Joey says, just one match is going to be added. Not what I said. Roger says, the Slammy Awards are set to return on WWE WrestleMania weekend. Uh, go vote. Source Wrestling News. Thank you for sourcing. Alan says, Paul Heyman said Roman and Cody will be alone tonight. Do you believe that? I don't trust the bloodline. Well, I believe that's part of the storyline. And as such, I'm not going to sit here and say this is what's going to happen tonight. Because that's spoilers. And I don't do that. Also, I can't do that. I don't have sources who give me that information. And I'm not going to pay for news. Michael says that TNA, re TNA rebrand ended up being a disaster. They did not get any of the big free agents they were going for, unfortunately. I did. I said, I, I do expect matches to be added, including a women's tag team championship match. Slovak says, Rock's next appearance will be on the 4-1 Raw at the Barclays Center. I'd expect him on the 4-5 SmackDown in Philadelphia, but that's not official by the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Thank you, Slovak. As I reported previously, my expectation was that we would see more of The Rock than not of The Rock in the build to WrestleMania. Primarily because after WrestleMania, I don't expect to see a lot of him for a while. Kelly says, Tom, can't wait to see Cody Rhodes Roman face to face. 2015 tease is cashing before doing it. Damien Priest hasn't done much. And so what? I mean, what they're trying to do is make you think it's not going to happen. Okay, I can see that we're having a few. Not loving it. It's a Friday. And on the Twitch as well. Wonderful. Just what I... Just what I needed. Spoiler warning's in trouble, isn't it, guys? Now, this was a internet issue previously. You guys are getting lag. It's telling me nothing is going... It's telling... Nope, that's doing another thing. <laughs> 